Kia ora team, my name's Ben. Now let's have a look at blood pressure regulation in response to hypotension. Alright, so something's happened that's called our blood pressure to drop. Hypo, low. First step is how are we going to detect it? So we have in our arch of our aorta, the aortic sinus, and in our carotid sinuses, blood pressure receptors called baroreceptors, and they sense stretch. So when they sense a decrease in the amount of stretch, they're going to send messages to our medulla and our brainstem, and we've got our cardio accelerator center and our vasomotor center. Then this is going to stimulate a sympathetic response. So a sympathetic nervous system, fight, flight, fright, it's going to try to crank up our sympathetic nervous system to restore our blood pressure. So cardiac accelerator center, sounds like it's going to go to the heart to increase it. And vasomotor, vaso, blood vessels, motor causing to move. That's a bit of a hint. Right, so this sympathetic response is going to go to our adrenal medulla, right there on top of the kidneys, in the middle of our adrenal gland, and it's also going to go via sympathetic nerves to the heart and to the blood vessels. So the sympathetic nerves and our adrenal medulla are going to release adrenaline and noradrenaline, also known as epinephrine and norepinephrine. If we pause here for a tick, epi means over and above, nephron is in the kidneys, so epinephron makes sense that adrenal medulla is above the kidneys. All right, so uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline, also known as epinephrine and norepinephrine, is going to go to our alpha-1 receptors on the smooth muscle of our blood vessels and cause vasoconstriction. So this is going to increase total peripheral resistance, so therefore increasing blood pressure. And we're also going to go to our heart, and we're going to have a chronotrophic response. We'll go to our SA node and AV nodes, and that's going to increase our heart rate. We're going to have a dromotropic response, and it's going to improve the conduction speed or velocity through the heart, again to increase the heart rate. And we're also going to go to the cardiac muscle, so myocardium, and we're going to have an inotropic response, which is going to increase stroke volume. So all these things is the sympathetic nervous system response to falling blood pressure. Awesome. Now let's have a look at the RAS.